Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will be discussing the top financial mistakes people make when investing. We will be using real-life case studies from the past to help us understand these mistakes and how we can avoid them. Mistake number one, following the crowd. The first mistake people make when investing is following the crowd. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of a hot new stock or investment opportunity, but blindly following others can lead to poor decision making. One of the most famous examples of this is the dot-com bubble of the late 90s. Many people invested in internet companies without fully understanding the risks, and when the bubble burst, they lost a lot of money. Mistake number two, not doing your research. Another common mistake people make is not doing their research. Investing in something without fully understanding the risks and potential returns can lead to poor investment decisions. One example of this is the subprime mortgage crisis of 2008. Many people invested in subprime mortgages without fully understanding the risks associated with them, and when the housing market crashed, they lost a lot of money. Mistake number three, overlooking fees and expenses. Investing can come with a lot of fees and expenses, and it's important to understand them before making any investment decisions. Many people make the mistake of overlooking these fees, which can eat into their returns over time. One example of this is mutual funds with high expense ratios. These funds charge investors a percentage of their assets each year, which can add up over time and significantly reduce returns. Mistake number four, not diversifying. Another common mistake people make is not diversifying their investments. When you put all your money into one stock or sector, you leave yourself exposed to a lot of risk. One famous example of this is the Enron scandal. Many Enron employees had all their retirement savings invested in Enron stock, which became worthless when the company collapsed. Mistake number five, trying to time the market. Lastly, Many people make the mistake of trying to time the market. They buy and sell stocks based on short-term fluctuations, rather than taking a long-term approach to investing. However, it's impossible to predict the market's movements with certainty, and trying to time the market can lead to missed opportunities and losses. One example of this is the stock market crash of 1987, where many investors panic and sold their stocks, only to miss out on the market's eventual recovery. Mistake number six, letting emotions drive investment decisions. Investment decisions should be based on research and analysis, not emotions. Many people make the mistake of letting their emotions, such as fear or greed, drive their investment decisions. For example, during a market downturn, some investors may panic and sell their stocks out of fear, which could lead to significant losses. Similarly, some investors may become too greedy and invest heavily in a single stock or sector, without considering the risks. It's important to stay rational and disciplined when making investment decisions. Mistake number seven, not having a plan or investment strategy. Investing without a plan or investment strategy can also lead to poor investment decisions. It's important to have a clear understanding of your investment goals and risk tolerance, and to develop a plan or strategy that aligns with them. For example, if you're investing for retirement, you may want to focus on long-term investments with a lower risk profile, while if you're investing for short-term gains, you may be willing to take on more risk. In conclusion, these are some of the top financial mistakes people make when investing. By being aware of these mistakes and avoiding them, you can improve your chances of making sound investment decisions and achieving your financial goals. Remember to do your research, diversify your investments, take a long-term approach, stay rational and disciplined, and have a clear plan or investment strategy. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this video informative.